The Civil War and You. In order to understand the Civil War and all aspects of it, we have created a video using real life examples to help you. One cause of the Civil War is slavery. Farmers across the southern states forced slaves brought in from Africa to do farm work for no pay at all and were treated like property rather than people. Almost all northern states had banned slavery, calling it unconstitutional. A simple way we can think of this on a much smaller scale is an older brother forcing a younger sister to make his bed. The younger sister might get hurt if she doesn't do it, will not get paid, and doesn't really have a say in it. Until the Battle of Gettysburg, the war was at a stalemate, no side gaining any power. But at the Battle of Gettysburg, the North gained an upper hand after a crushing victory. A familiar way we can think about this is when a brother usually wins fights over his sister, but when the sister wins. That would be a turning point in the girl's advantage, just as it was for the North. The North and South had many different views, but one of the most major was their daily lifestyle. The South led uh, slow-going, easy lives as farmers, while the North led bustling lives in cities. Toys compare the North and South's views on which was better, such as a 15-year-old plays with an iPad, meanwhile a 3-year-old plays with blocks. Each believes that their toy is more entertaining, just like how the North and South had different points of view on life of lifestyles. The North had, and South had many other differences. The North had fast-flowing rivers, so their daily transportation was fast, which led them to have fast-paced lives. The North, the North, the South had slow rivers and therefore slow-paced lives. Like if a person growing up in a poor neighborhood might not be able to afford a proper education, they might play more sports. At the same time, a child growing in a wealthy neighborhood might have a good education and lean more towards education. And after the war, life for most blacks was still very harsh. It was rare for them to get any job except as servants, and they were racially separated from whites. You can think of this like when you beat up your older brother and win, and you even get punished after accomplishments, just as the slaves did. We hope you have learned what the Civil War was really about.